Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Ted Carr, and that's how I draw my name. Now, let's get on with the show. How do I undo this stuff? I uh, don't think you can, but let's just open this and then undo, 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 undo. Today, we're going to be talking about caffeine and why no vegans should be drinking caffeine, like tea or coffee, or consuming stimulants like chocolate. Now, I know chocolate is a big one. People associate chocolate with love, and people associate coffee, this is the cup of coffee, with comfort. But this is a complete mistake because of what I'm about to show you. And this, I know, is going to resonate with you because it's the truth. And the truth usually resonates with people who are searching for the truth. And I think as vegans, we're all searching for the truth. So let's get into this. Now, normally... On a day that you wake up at 6 a.m., and let's say you go to bed at 10 p.m., this is what your day looks like. You wake up, and you go along the day, and then it's time to sleep, and okay, time to sleep. Okay, that's the day. So that's the time you wake up, and that's the time you go to bed. Done, right? Now, check out what happens when you have caffeine. So you wake up in the morning. This is your energy level, by the way. This, this line here, this line here represents your energy level. Now, check it out. When you have caffeine, here's what happens. You look like this. You go up, caffeine high. Oh my god, feel great. Then you come down, because what goes up must come down. And then you 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 get you get pretty tired. Like, oh, another, another cup of coffee. So you go up again after your second cup of coffee. This is your first cup of coffee, and then it's your second cup of coffee because you don't want to be coming down too much. So you go up again, and then boom, you find you're like, screw it, man, I'm coming down, I'm tired. It's now, uh, let's say it's now 4 p.m. You're coming down, you're like, oh, screw it, I, I can't have another cup of coffee, otherwise I'll, I'll be up all night. I don't, I don't want that. So you just keep coming down, 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 and about 10 p.m., you're just like, you no energy at all, right? Now, again, this pink line here is an indicator of what your energy level could be like had you not had caffeine, had you just woken up and gone through the day eating your fruits and vegetables and your vegan food. But the black line represents what happens when you get into the dirty habit of taking caffeine. You've got to understand that what goes up must come down. It happens with stocks. It happens with Bitcoin. It happens with the price of gold. It happens with uh, a ball that you throw in the air. When you throw a ball up in the air, what happens? Unless it gets stuck in the tree, it's coming back down every single time. It's gravity. It's not just gravity. It's the law of nature. Whatever comes into life also comes into death. And so if you want to feel absolutely sky high high, take some ecstasy, shoot up some heroin. But guess what's going to happen? You're going to come crashing right back down, buddy, and you're not going to want that. This come down effect right here, this line, this downward spiral, it sucks. This is where people lose their life. This is where all celebrities and, and top performing musicians end up contemplating suicide because they're coming down off, a, off an amazing high. This run-up was amazing. All eyes were on them. They're making a bunch of money. They're helping their friends and family out. They're feeling great. They're getting a lot of attention. And then they get they finish the show at the end of the night, and then they start drinking and smoking and doing a bunch of drugs, and no one's looking at them anymore, and they start to feel like crap because they need more drugs, and it just sucks. This is a big no-no. All right. So how do we how do we prevent that from happening? Well, check it out. Here's what we can do instead. So instead of going up and then coming down off caffeine and then needing to recover, right? Because there's, there's that recovery period I, I didn't even talk about. A lot of people think this is what's going to happen when they have coffee. This when people think they have coffee or chocolate, they think this happens. They think they're going to go up and feel high, and then they're going to come down to base level. Come down to base level. And if they want coffee again or chocolate again, they go up and they come back down to base level. But that's not what happens. You wish. What really happens, oops, I lost my, my baseline there. What really happens is, let's, get, let's create a baseline again. The thing that really happens, bro, is this. Come on now. Fuck. Oh, man, I lost my baseline. Let's get that baseline back. Go like that. Go like that. I'm super new with this, obviously. Bear with me. Screw it. This is your baseline. Now, a lot of people think you go up and you go down, you're back at baseline. Not the case. What happens? You go up, you got to come down, you got to pay the price, bro. 
and, you, and what what goes up comes down a lot further. And now, once you're down here, guess what happens? You don't just shoot back up there. Have you ever seen that happen? No. You gotta recover to get just get back down to homeostasis level. Now that sucks because going up is great, but look how short this is. Look how short of an up that is. This is your up here. That's your high. Okay. So if you want to associate coffee with being high, realize that you're only high for maybe two to three hours in this period. Then the rest of the time, you're coming down for two to three hours just to just to reach baseline, but then you shoot well below that for another good 10 to 12 to 24 hours, depending on how sensitive you are, right? Then this this whole this is all debt. This is all this is all debt. This whole area down here, this is all debt, man. This area sucks. This is this is when you feel like shit. Down here is when you feel like shit. And up here is when you feel absolutely amazing. If you're above this line, you feel amazing, which is why people love this caffeine high because it shoots them up. They feel just through the roof terrific. But when you're down here, you feel super crummy. This is like where people feel depressed. This is where people feel angry. This is where shit happens with people. This is where people lose their jobs and they stub their toe. And it just sucks being down below base level. So being here is, is content. This line right here represents being content. We want to stay content. It's okay to feel happiness, no doubt. We love feeling happiness. But if you ever do feel happiness, ideally you come right back down to being content. That's it. You don't want to go super, super happy and then boom, down like that, and then just try and struggle back there and then shoot to get up another high and then shoot back down again. That's stupid. That's what addicts do. So with caffeine, if you're only up this high for this long, but really you're down for this long, why don't we associate caffeine with being down? Why don't we associate caffeine with this? Why do we associate the caffeine high and chocolate high with that? That makes no sense. I don't understand why we associate caffeine high with this. Probably because the pleasure is so great that even though we experience all this down right here, we still think, well, it's, it's okay to suck because I know I'm just going to have my, my another cup of coffee again the next day at 6 a.m. And at 6 a.m. the next day, I'm going to be shooting up again. I'm going to be shooting up again to get this high. But that is just crazy because the truth is you end up spending way longer down here in this zone when you take caffeine because what goes up must come down. All right? So the way to do it instead, the way to feel amazing throughout the day is to do the following. Here's the... Here's the formula. Here's the uh, here's the blueprint for having an amazing day. All right. So first off, you got to realize that your day is made up of a bunch of nows, moments of now. Now, 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 now. For every second in the day, that's a now. I don't know how many seconds there are. I think there's like eighty-six thousand or something. I think I read that the other day. Eighty-six thousand seconds. I could be wrong. But let's say that there are eighty-six thousand seconds in the day, and you want to feel amazing for each of those days. Maybe not each of those seconds. Maybe not amazing, but you at least want to feel good. What you want to do then is when you wake up in the morning, rather than grabbing your, your smartphone and checking your smartphone and scrolling down through, through Instagram and shit throughout the day, rather than grabbing that first thing in the morning and reacting to life, because here, when you grab your phone, you are reacting. You're not creating unless you're creating an Instagram post, but it's for reacting. The phone is designed to get you to react. In fact, on Facebook, when someone writes a post nowadays, this is Facebook, and someone writes a post, you can now either decide how you want to react. Do you want to react with a, a face, a, a happy face, a sad face, an uh, 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 angry face, some angry face? Uh, do you want to react with a, with a confused face? Like, how do you want to react? It's all about reacting on Facebook nowadays. But the, what you want to do, instead of grabbing your phone and reacting to shit, you want to learn how to become a creator because you are a creator. So you want to learn how to actually, I mean, I think you'd want to learn how to re, uh, create. So what you want to do is instead of reaching for your phone and going through Facebook, you, you sure, you reach for your phone, if at all, and then you open a meditation app. If I could learn to change colors with this thing, man, that would be great. I would love that. Let's just pick a theme and see what we can do. There we go. Sweet. So let's say you pick an app. I like Headspace. Headspace is a cool app for meditation. You grab your app, and then instead of of uh, scrolling through Facebook, you sit and you you meditate. This is these are your legs being crossed, and you're sitting here, and you're in meditation. You're sitting on your cushion, and you're, and you're meditating, and you feel really really nice when you meditate. 
And the reason meditation is so powerful, well, it trains you to be in the present moment. And when you're sitting and meditating, it's really easy to want to get up and do things. It's really easy to want to get up and go do this. It's really easy to want to get up and go do this. It's really easy to want to get up and go do that. It's really easy to, to want to open your eyes and look at the phone and see the see the timer on the phone. It's really easy to want to see how much time is left. Oh, how much longer do I have? How much longer do I have? But you train yourself through, with practice to just sit and be. So you're not reacting to the time. You're not reacting to the thoughts and things that you want to go and do. You're just observing them. And you bring yourself back to the present. Bring yourself back to the now. So it's just good practical training for being a human being. Now, once you meditate in the morning, check that off the list. Next thing you do, maybe you do some idea writing. So you grab a piece of paper and you start writing out your ideas. And then... Once you have your list of ideas for the day, your great list of ideas, then maybe you go and you do some fitness. You, you go work out and you, you, you lift some weights. This is me lifting weights. This is you lifting weights. Right? You, lift, you lift some weights. You do some fitness, maybe some push-ups, some squats, some pull-ups, things like that. Then once you do some, some fitness, then maybe you get to work on a project that you're working on. Maybe you want to you want to build something cool. You want to be creative, and you want to you want to build a Lego house or something, or you want to uh, clean the house, or you want to you want to do something productive. So you actually do something, rather than again just reacting and going through going through uh, going through life on on reaction mode. You actually do something that you want to do, and and then maybe you got to go to work, right? So you, you go to work, and then you check that off the list. And as you're at work, you're 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 getting ready to do intermittent fasting. So come twelve o'clock noon, you eat your first meal, and then at four p.m., you know you have your final meal, and you feel good about doing intermittent fasting. Then at the end of the day, you come home, and maybe instead of just binge watching, uh, you know what, Netflix, you instead, if you do want to watch something, because I know it's nice to watch things in the evening, you instead watch a video like the one you're watching now, or maybe you watch some. Um, there's some really good videos on on YouTube that train you how to do what it is that you want to do with your life. Maybe it's about law of attraction, law of attraction. Maybe it's it's videos about fitness and how to get fitter. Maybe maybe you watch uh, relationship videos. Maybe you watch some Connor and Brittany relationship videos and you learn how to have an amazing relationship. Or maybe you watch some videos on uh, on how to be a better person, right? Charisma on Command is a great channel. Charisma on Command, great channel there. So you, you actually absorb some really good self-helpful things. And then come time for evening, maybe you know you want to go to bed at 9, 10 p.m. the latest. Well, you get into bed at 9 p.m. And then from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m., you listen to a good audiobook. Audiobook. And you just hold the vision of living the life that you want to live for yourself. And by visualizing the life that you want to live and feeling as if you already have that life from 9 p.m. all the way to 10 p.m., you're getting in really, really good feelings into your body. And you're feeling as if the things that you want are already here and now, because there's only now. And when you feel like things you already have now, when you feel like the things that you want are already here now, you actually get them so much quicker. It's really trippy how it works, but you just you just get it. All right. So you listen to a good audiobook from from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. as you're falling asleep and you're visualizing the life of your dreams, or maybe you, you've recorded affirmations for yourself and you listen to those affirmations from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Whatever, and then you wake up in the morning. And the first thing on your mind, right before you go to meditate, is the beautiful thoughts you were having the night before. Isn't that cool? Now, most people don't do this. Most people, as you know, they come home, they binge watch Netflix, they binge watch a bunch of crap on or gossip on YouTube or the news or whatever, and then they wake up in the morning, and what's the first thing they do? They wake up in the morning here, and what's the first thing they do? They listen to the news, they, they go on Facebook, and they react to things, they open their email, they try, they, their brain, instead of being in this nice smooth zen like state the brain is like this they, they wake up and they're like i gotta get through the day gotta get through the day gotta get through the day and they finally just crash in the evening time bam well what i'm suggesting here is instead of waking up and just going into crazy work mode right away and then crashing in the evening and waking up feeling like you gotta do it all over again well all i'm suggesting is you wake up in the morning nice calm headspace and you go through the day doing as much of what you want as possible, as much as what you know feels really, really good. 
And sure, from time to time, things are going to get crazy. From time to time, you're going to want to reach for stimulus. From time to time, you're going to want to scroll through Facebook. But for the most part, if you can create this nice habit in the morning, waking up and meditating, and then doing some fitness, and then working on some nice projects, and then doing your intermittent fasting, and then reading a good book or listening to a great audio book right before bed, you're going to have a much better life than you would otherwise. All right? So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it's not just all about, um, you know, uh, I, hope, I hope you didn't think this video was going to be all about just caffeine. I, I want you to know that I do like to talk about things that are very, very positive, and uh, I'm a huge fan of positivity. So thank you so much for positivity. I don't know if that's positivity. <laughs> positivity. <laughs> New word, positivity. I hope you got something from this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sticking through to the end, me learning how to use this Adobe Sketch. I really, really appreciate it. Much love. Adios. And ciao for now. I'll see you all at the... When are we going to see you next? Check it out. Can you guess? Can you guess where I'm going to see everyone? Can you guess? I figure out how to do it. Canada. Fruit. Fest. Yeah. See you all at the Canada Fruit Fest. August 9th to the 12th. August 9th to the 12th, 2019. All right. Ciao for now. Peace out.